Beach Body Champions. <laughs> wow. This is a very surreal moment and I like seriously had to Mel Robbins 54321 myself in here. Hi Mary. So I hope that you all can't tell how badly I'm shaking right now. You can see some of my team hopping on. Yay. So guys like what started? Hi Leslie. So what started as um, me kind of agreeing to share like some tips and some things that are working amazing in my business right now um, with like a small mastermind somehow turned into all of this. Hi Sherry. And I am like beyond humbled um, and nervous. So this is one of those like moments those like growth moments where you're asked to do something really exciting that makes you want to puke and you just like five four three two one and just do it because it's gonna help you become a stronger person right I hope you guys can hear me okay um, my neighbor decided that it's a really great time to mow his lawn it's a little rude if you ask me apparently he didn't know I was doing this today but how's everybody doing as you guys are hopping on can you all tell me like how long you guys have been coaching I'm curious we have like new coaches um, coaches who have been here for years like let me know so my name is Logan Underwood and I am really really excited to talk to you guys today about the topic of helping your coaches advance and before I get into all that I'm gonna take you back a little bit and share a little bit more of my coaching journey with you all. So I am married to my high school sweetheart, Levi, and we have three amazing kiddos. Lucy is five, Luke is three, and our baby Lily is five months. We live in Washington State, and my husband is a potato farmer, and I am a recently retired labor and delivery nurse, now full-time coach. Now, my journey with Beachbody started back in August of 2015. I was about nine months postpartum after having my second baby, so that was Luke. And you guys, my oldest was two. My husband was neck deep in potato harvest, because remember, this is August. And I was drowning. But I was the typical person who only shared their highlight reel on social media. So, you know, it appeared that I had the perfect life and I posted gorgeous photos of me smiling with my beautiful kids. And on the inside, I was crumbling. I was giving every ounce of myself to take care of everybody else. And I was doing nothing to take care of me. You know, I was still carrying extra baby weight. I didn't have any energy to exercise or even play with my kids. And you know, my nutrition was basically like leftover sandwich crusts or you know whatever scraps were kind of left over on the, my kids' high chair and lots and lots of iced coffee because remember the no energy. I was very self-conscious and like super uncomfortable in my skin and you know, when my husband and I would get ready to go on a date night, he would just find me in our closet crying because I didn't like the way I felt or looked in anything. And I just felt like such a failure. And I felt so alone. And I was not the mom or the wife that I had ever pictured myself being. So this was my rock bottom. And of course, this is when I found Beachbody. So, I joined my coach's challenge group after seeing her transformation on Instagram. We'd never met before. Um, and she got me in her challenge group and within a matter of months, I'd lost like 20 pounds and I started gaining energy and confidence and happiness. And my family didn't just like get me back. Like I say that they gained an entire like brand new, better version of me than they had ever known before. So it was only a matter of weeks before I really felt that tug, that like 
make you want to puke, but you're super excited about it feeling to start sharing, sharing my transformation and sharing on social media and bringing other people on board with me. I had an incredible transformation following the program Pio. And if you're like a late night infomercial junkie or anything, you might recognize me from the Pio infomercial. Um, I saw success pretty quickly when I started coaching. Um, so I started coaching in September of 2015. And when I started the year of 2016, I started it as an Emerald coach. And by the end of the year, I finished 2016 as a two-star premier coach. Then 2017 happened. <laughs> we decided that we wanted to grow our family and I became pregnant with Lily in the spring. And I was, guys, I was so excited to have the opportunity to have a, my very first fit pregnancy and to share my journey like with all of my friends and followers. And, but when I was only five weeks along, Oh, my husband's watching right now. Hi, honey. <laughs> when I was only five weeks along, I got slammed with crippling hyperemesis. And then when I was 19 weeks along, I was placed on complete bed rest for preterm contractions. I was allowed up to eat. I was allowed up to shower and I was allowed up to go pee. Goodbye fitness. Goodbye fit pregnancy, goodbye even prepping and planning my own food. Keep in mind, I also had a two and a four year old at home. So trying to survive each day during this time, and it was summer, so remember my husband's a potato farmer. <laughs> trying to survive each day, let alone build a health and fitness business, felt impossible. But I didn't give up. And, you know, looking back on it now, I don't know how I would have survived those months and months of bed rest and complication after complication with my pregnancy without coaching and without personal development and without my tribe to help get me through those dark days. Luckily, we went on to have a perfectly healthy, like 39 week baby girl and everything ended up incredible. But, you know, during those months of complication and bed rest, like I wasn't able to work as a nurse, even though technically like I was still working as a nurse. And when you're not, when your feet are not on the floor working as a nurse, like you don't make money. <laughs> But thanks to coaching, I still brought in a steady income every single week that helped keep my family afloat during this like really hard time. So I just wanna share that with you guys to show that you know my journey hasn't been like a straight shot like to the top by any means. Like I have struggled and we have come through really hard like personal times and you just have to make the decision to not quit and to keep going because that is the way to succeed in this business. So I'm here today to share some nuggets with you guys on how to help your coaches advance in their business. So my team achieved three star diamond yesterday. Yay. Shout out to on fire empire and all my girls. And we are currently in qualification for four star which is super exciting. And we're currently number 55 in the network. But you know what the really cool thing is, you guys? Most of the diamonds in my downline are one star and two star diamonds. Like one of my PS coaches is a two star and she has a PS coach that is a two star and she has a PS coach that is almost a one star. You know, I have a coach under my second business center that's a one star. And my second business center is a one star. And you guys, this is when things really start to get exciting and volume starts to explode and your team cycle bonus starts to go crazy when you have star diamond leaders that are building teams underneath you. This is what led my income with Beachbody 
to through my bed rest saga and awful third pregnancy this is what led my Beachbody income to surpass what I was earning as a full-time labor and delivery nurse who would have to work nights and weekends and holidays and it allowed me to resign from that job so that I can have never-ending maternity leave with our third baby and be a full-time coach and stay-at-home mom but I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking like girlfriend I can't even get myself to diamond <laughs> or star diamond, let alone like how the heck am I supposed to build my coaches to star diamond, right? This is the thing. When you look at it that way, yes, <laughs> it's going to feel impossible and like a very, very steep hill to climb. But you guys, this is what I'm super excited to remind you. Whether you have been a coach for five minutes or five years, like you can start employing this practice in your business because it all starts with Emerald. So number one, if you're not Emerald yourself, go Emerald, okay? Emerald is a decision. Do not overcomplicate going Emerald. Is it easy? Depends on how you look at it. You still have to kind of put yourself out there and have a little bit of an uncomfortable conversation with a couple people who you're asking to support you in your business. Um, but it might not be like super easy because you have to like flex that confidence muscle a little bit, but it is simple. It's two people. And if you have a spouse, they better be one of the first people that you sign up. For two and a half years of my business, my husband would not drink Shakeology. Praise the Lord he does now, and he does not miss a day without his shake. But before he was drinking it regularly, we would have his home direct order set to packets, and you know I would sell those to potential customers who were interested in trying it that obviously like, you know, in turn progress into, you know, more paying customers. So you can make this work. Even if you feel like you can't afford to have your spouse be a coach, I promise there are ways that you can make it work. And having your spouse as close to the top of your genealogy is going to make a huge difference for you in the long run. Because guys, we all have the long game in mind with coaching. Coaching is not a get, ri get rich quick business. It's a long game. I'm going to change my family's financial future and build a legacy business. Okay, so having that mindset shift, get your spouse signed up ASAP. Then teach your coaches to go Emerald. When you are building these advocates and lifers in your challenge group and getting them incredible results so that they feel that tug in their heart to start sharing, like get them on your team and show them how to go Emerald and have them set a goal to go Emerald every single month meaning every month, you know, whether they've already hit that technical like rank goal, every month they're gonna be adding two new coaches to their team, two new coaches, two new coaches, because that helps keep you on what, a, what we like to call offense. You know, don't slide back into defense and try to, you know, make sure that certain people stay active and everything, like stay on offense and continually be adding two new, at least two new people every single month. When your coaches go Emerald, you're naturally going to advance to diamond, okay? Then help teach your coaches coaches how to go emerald. Show them how to go emerald once by signing up two people and how to keep going emerald month after month. And when your grandbaby coaches start going emerald, your coaches are going to start popping to diamond, okay? so. This is kind of how I like to help my girls kind of goal set. Um, so set a goal of you know, going Emerald monthly, meaning you are going to add, you're going to set a goal that you're going to add two new coaches to your team every month. And then every quarter set a goal to go diamond. So the months within that quarter, so you're going to add like two new coaches a month. So you're eight coaches and then you are going to help two of your PS coaches 
go emerald. So you're adding like eight coaches and popping two emeralds a quarter. So I consider that like, you know, helping coach your coaches on how to go diamond quarterly because it's just going to continue to add more growth to your team and to their teams. Repeat this cycle over and over and over as your genealogy continues to get deeper and deeper, okay? Lather, rinse, repeat. Emerald, over and over. This is something that you can duplicate so easily with your team. This is the thing though, this is where my team, on fire empire, I love you guys. <laughs> this is where my team is a little, different than the norm because we have multiple star diamond leaders leading our team together in one team page rather than branching out into several different teams and pages and i know that this is really different from lots of teams and it doesn't work for everybody but it is so powerful for us and you know sometimes it can get a little interesting because there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> but we all pour into each other's coaches like they're our own. You know, in my team page, I have coaches that are my great, great, great grandbaby coaches in my team page that, you know, I help run with my coach and my other Star Diamond leaders. And that is depth, serious depth to your team. And so because of that, because we do it this way, we've created this like super tight knit family and it just adds so much momentum and excitement to our team's growth because the weight of the team doesn't fall on one leader's shoulders. Okay. We are like such strong believers in teamwork makes the dream work and it's just what works for us. So I just have to like add that in there. Um, and you know, success leaves clues. So don't be afraid to reach out to people that you can tell are just like killing it and find out what they're doing. You know, um, there's a girl named Emily who's absolutely slaying things right now, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, and she's popping multiple diamonds a week and I've been watching her and you know, I. I had no idea if she was actually going to write me back or not, but I sent her a message just to pick her brain a little bit <laughs> and bless her heart. You know, she wrote me back and you know, told me that she does these Emerald in 24 hour calls and they're helping her team blow up. And, you know, we've all run Emerald trainings, Emerald in a week, Emerald in five days, but it really is as simple as Emerald in 24 hours. And she said she just like super hypes it up, shows them how easy it is to go emerald when you sign up your spouse and then either like your mom or your sister or your cousin or your best friend or your dad or whoever that other person is because we all have at least two people in our life that we love and want to live happier and healthier lives, right? So don't hold it back from them, invite them. Um, and then she told me that she holds them accountable by having them all message, you know, at the end of this call, this Emerald in 24 hours call, she has them all message her the names of the two people that they're going to be adding to help get them to Emerald. And then, you know, Emeralds start popping and you start going crazy with recognition. And, you know, I love to shout out my coaches on, you know, my social media and I tag their personal page so then their friends and family can see that they're killing it in their new business. And then all the coaches, all the other coaches on your team are gonna see everybody else just like popping emerald and popping emerald. And it's fun and it's exciting and it's not something that's super intimidating. And they wanna go emerald too. Because like the FOMO is real, you know? My girls get a little present when they go emerald. Who doesn't want presents? <laughs> and then, so when your grandbaby coaches, because you want to do this not just with your personally sponsored coaches, but with their coaches and the coaches under them. And when your grandbaby coaches start going emerald, then your coaches are naturally going to become diamonds. But this is the kicker, you guys. You have to get your coaches looking beyond diamond, okay? 
Diamond is an incredible achievement and we are gonna celebrate the hell out of you when you achieve that goal, but Diamond is not the destination, okay? You don't arrive at Diamond and necessarily have all of your financial dreams come true. So you need to get them to look at their downline and identify who their next diamond is going to be, okay? I don't care if they're still an emerald. They can still be looking at the girls that they have underneath them and figuring out, you know, who these lifers are and who, you know, who is showing that potential. And, you know, get them looking to two-star so that they can open up their second business center because that was a big game changer for me financially, being able to open up my second business center. Um, but just... Don't let them get overwhelmed. Keep, you know, the mentality that they are just working on building an empire of emerald coaches, like over and over. Because like we said before, if you have enough coaches going emerald, that's when you're gonna see your coaches advancing into the diamond and star diamond ranks. And it's just gonna happen naturally because you have people who just are so passionate and bleed beach body blue because they love like, you know, the community and what it's done for them. And this is going to bring so much depth and stability and volume to your team. And that's what you want. You don't want to sit back and just wait and wait and wait for potentially some rock star to come in and blow up your organization because we all know how often that doesn't happen, right? It starts with a lot of people doing a little bit. It starts with a lot of people that are just ready to start getting their toes wet and going emerald, okay? And then it just starts to snowball. So you guys, like, I, I'm an island coach. An island coach. So I am on, like, the inside leg of my canceled sponsors, canceled spouse. So I'm like all the way on like a funky inside leg island. <laughs> and I have never had another coach placed down in my organization from up above. But I've never ever once let that define my success in this business. Because this business is up to me to build. It's not up to my uplines to help build below me. It's up to me. And now I have a great, great grandbaby coach. Shout out to Ashley Lambert, who is about to go diamond. A great, great grandbaby coach. She's like half an emerald away. And so when I realized how close she was, I, you know, put together a little graphic um, with her photo on it and her girls that are underneath her and, um, you know, kind of did a little like checking off all the little spots on the genealogy um, to show like how close they were. And then I got this idea from Christina Battaglia. I posted it in the team page and I said, hey guys, we are all on Diamond Watch for Ashley's team. She's super close. She and her girls are so, so close. So let's rally around them and cheer them on. And like this kind of peer support and morale is just huge for the team. So now, you know, rather than her stressing about, you know, how she's going to get that like one half an emerald, like the whole team is cheering them on. Her girls feel like they're contributing to something really incredible for the team, which they are. And it just, it just snowballs. So when I was, when I was first asked like what I'm doing to help my team advance in this way and build like depth with diamonds and star diamonds within my team, like my first reaction was like, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Like I, I can't like specifically pin exactly what I'm doing that like helps encourage my team to build this way. Um, but the more I thought about it, it's just, it's exactly what Moira talked about on the national wake up call on Monday about momentum. And you know, she said, this momentum is more powerful than 
anything that I can do by myself. And that is just like the bottom line. So every week we have new emeralds in our team to celebrate, not just my personally sponsored, but like, like I said, you know, we run our team, there's multiple leaders running our team together. So every week there's new emeralds being shouted out in our team page, which just leads to more diamonds and star diamonds building several layers deep. And this depth just creates volume. And this volume creates income. So to recap, Emerald is a decision, okay? Go Emerald over and over and over and teach your coaches and their coaches how to go Emerald and just lather, rinse, repeat over and over and do not overcomplicate it. We're really good at like overcomplicating things and having to pull out all kinds of trainings and systems and just remembering how simple it is, I promise is just gonna make it so much more easy and so much more fun. And then just reminding them that diamond is not their destination. So getting them to look beyond diamond and paint a vision for their goals for the future and who in their downline is going to be their next diamond. Rally your team around their achievements because the momentum that you're gonna create by building an empire of emeralds underneath you is going to do really, really incredible things for your downline. So, this is your homework. Ha -ha. Identify who your two coaches are that are going to help you go emerald if you're not emerald already. And if you are already emerald, or you know maybe you have four coaches under you, or 10 coaches, or your diamond, or whatever, I still want you to reach out and invite two people to the coaching opportunity today. And I want you to message the names of those two people that you're gonna reach out to and invite to your coach for accountability. So, ah, thank you so much, you guys. If you have questions, I haven't really seen any questions like popping up, but I also have kind of had to have my blinders on and not read all the comments because I get like super squirrely and distracted. And um, so if you guys have questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to come back and answer. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I can't believe I made it through. Whew, we did it. <laughs> have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.